We have Australia's largest range of tyre brands and sizes. Find a cheaper identical tyre locally stocked and we'll beat it. At Bob Jane T-Marts, we'll look after you. of the NPL Victoria season here at Lakeside Stadium. For South Melbourne, the equation is very simple. If we beat Northgate here today, we will be minor premiers and finish on top of the table. Before the game commences, both teams will observe a minute's silence in memory of Seniors Constable Tony Clark and for the passing of Northcote City President's father, John Gian. Certainly some uh, very moving scenes there, David, as you see young, uh, young Connor Clark there coming off the field with his South Melbourne scarf. A uh, very good day uh, in memory of his late father. And uh, David, it's a big day for South Melbourne. The attention now turns to football. South needs to win this match against Northcote City. Ganovic pumping that one high and long. Goes straight through to Milos Lujic, but use it for Theodore. Jawadi flicks forward, Lujic edges out his opponents. Milos Lujic did the build-up work nicely, but couldn't get the connection he wanted. Pump long up the left. Anthony Mala, not quite beaten there, but he has to defend again here as that was played in for Kalafatidis. And Kalafatidis had a really nice opportunity there, but couldn't get past the keeper. Well, a big moment in the game, David, and uh, we've just heard that Bentley are 2 0 up against Oakley as well, so the equation is now the South has to win this game, and uh, we got let off the hook there with the Kalafatidis header straight at Raganovic. That ball played in long, easy clearance there. Theodore flicks it down, Monopolis into Lujic! And there's the first goal of the game. And what a goal that could prove to be in the context of this season. South Melbourne have the lead. And if we're looking at a live ladder, they are back on the top of the table. Well, like I just said, David, uh, we needed to score because Bentley had gone 2-0 up. And uh, score we have just done so. So we see there from the corner, not cleared properly by the Northcote defence. Matty Theodore gets it back in there. Lee Monopolis with another back heel for Lewis. It's starting to happen all the time now, David. And he does what he does best. And that is find the back of the net to give us a crucial 1-0 lead. We'll see from behind the goals there. The uh, ridiculous back heel from Lee Monopolis to Milos Lujic and blast that past Petropolis. 1-0 to South and a very important lead here at Lakeside Stadium. And the crowd showing their appreciation. They're in good voice here. They know the significance of that goal. Leading high across a few bodies and headed clear by Milos Lujic. The ball back in and uh, an audacious attempt from outside the box. Not all that far away. Plays that one across to Brad Norton. Norton. Goes long up the left, it opens up for Sturton. Sturton's got Lujic in the middle. Sturton flows it high. Lujic, Lujic, there's number two. South Melbourne have a 2-0 lead going into half time. A huge moment in this game. Milos Lujic has the double in the first half. And South Melbourne take a giant leap towards that minor premiership. They'll be hard to catch now, John. Yeah, David, it's a big, big moment in the game and a big moment in the context of the season as well. And it started on this left side from uh, Brad Norton, who's had such a great year. He plays it in for David Sturton, who's uh, replaced Epifano today, who got suspended. And that's a perfect cross for Milos Lujic, who uh, looked like he scuffed his header, but he hits it down and it bounces over Petropolis, who's wrong-footed perhaps, and it goes into the back of the net. Doesn't really matter how they score, David, as long as they are scoring at this point in time in the season. Petropolis, he's uh, trying to scramble back there and get it. Probably would have saved it if it was hit at his near post, but it goes over him, 2-0, and South with a huge advantage now. And the fans are even louder now. They sense a minor premiership in the making. Standing over the free kick and delivering just over the bar, nearly catching the roof of the net on the way over there from Theodore. Well, that certainly would have sealed the minor premiership, uh, David. Uh, Matty Theodore with a tough attempt there. He gets it over the wall, but unfortunately over the crossbar as well. Well, there's been a half-time substitution. Matthew Theodore makes his way off the park. Chris Irwin comes on to replace him. And Irwin, a nice early ball there. Good chance played back to him by Monopolis. Inside, wonderful chance for Lujic! And Milos Lujic, I don't think he wants that hat-trick, John, because he's just missed a sitter. Yeah, that's a sitter. It's not his best work, is it, David? Uh, some great work, however, from Chris Irwin, the substitute. Cuts it back for Lujic, and uh, he just goes for power then, blasts it over the crossbar, and uh, he's denied his hat-trick. Well, Northcote could make things really uncomfortable for South if they were to score early in the second half. But they won't score if South Melbourne's streaming away like this. Jawadi, nice bit of pace out wide for Norton. Bradley Norton on the left. Oh no. Oh yes! Bradley Norton, that is ridiculous. 
I don't know if he meant that, but I don't really care at this point. Brad Norton has just wrapped things up here at Lakeside Stadium. 3-0 South Melbourne. Unbelievable goal. And John, I think that's the minor premiership. Yeah, he certainly meant this statement. Well, at least he's going to say so when we speak to him after the game. But uh, either way, what a fantastic goal that is. Petropolis just rooted to the spot and just watching that sail over his head and into the far corner. What a finish from Brad Norton. And that has certainly sealed the minor premiership for South and right in front of the fans there in the grandstand too. What a finish. 3-0 South Melbourne are ahead. It does not matter now what's going on in the Bentley game because we have got the minor premiership. And David Sturton makes his way to the bench. Jake Barkadesh comes on to finish things off. Vicky Jawadi taking a spell for the last part of this match. On comes Andy Kachoyevic. Well, going for a long ball there towards the penalty spot. And that one's played in. And Raganovic with the reflex save there against Wilkes. Very nearly a goal, but for Raganovic getting in the way. Well, very good save here from Nikola Raganovic. Uh, he was alert there. Jordan Wilkes with the shot. And Raganovic makes the initial save. Unfortunately for Wilkes, it doesn't bounce back to him properly. And Raganovic gloves it on the second attempt. Kalafatidis doesn't reach his man with that one. And South Melbourne could be dangerous here on the counter-attack. Kajoyevich releases Irwin. Irwin leaves his man for dead. Chris Irwin making a run. Inside for Lujic. And Lujic can't get the connection. Another opportunity for the hat-trick. And he's burned Chris Irwin for a second time, John. Well, uh, Milos always could have had four this afternoon, David. It's unfortunate because Chris Irwin could have had two assists as well. He's cut that back brilliantly for Lujic. But Lujic miskicks it. Arkadesh. Chris Irwin, he's been lively in this second half, Chris Irwin, played some nice balls in. There's Kachoyevich, offs to go instead to Lujic, looks to turn and shoot, and Milos Lujic deflected, and he's gone down in a bit of distress there, it looks like, John, he's grabbed his knee. Well, this is desperate news, Milos Lujic, the big striker, looks in quite a bit of pain here, and the physio's on to give some treatment, I don't know exactly what happened there, but he's grabbed his knee. Well, we'll have a look there, he obviously looks in a fair bit of pain there, Milos Lujic, and as he goes for the shot there, it's uh, Wilkes getting in the way, trying to shield it, looks like a complete accident, maybe a hyperextension of the knee, but it's certainly not good at this stage. Uh, the good news is, David, is he can put a bit of weight on it, but he's going to have to be forced off, and uh, hopefully for South it means he doesn't miss the finals. Brad Norton putting that one up on the left. South Melbourne having to finish this game with 10 men, with Milos Lujic having to go down under the tunnel. Now Monopolis, they could still find a fourth. Kachoyevich flicks it through to Monopolis. He'll finish, but that's definitely offside. The flag went up quickly. South Melbourne had a fourth in the back of the net, but the line's been flagging that one for offside. And Northcote take it quickly, and that's all she wrote. The final whistle is gone, and South Melbourne are the minor premiers for 2015. They begin the celebrations. Raganovic throws his hat on the ground. He won't be needing that anymore, John. Wonderful scenes here at Lakeside Stadium. The crowd is up. The players look very excited. For the second time in a row, South finish on top of the table. Of course, they will have finals to play this year, but it's another fine achievement for this side under Chris Taylor. It's a fantastic achievement, David, to consider where South has come from. Losing 2-1 to Heidelberg in the derby, putting us about six points behind Bentley with uh, about five or six weeks to play. South eventually clawing back that advantage and finishing the season on top on the final day of the season, the final week of the season, and that's all that matters, uh, finishing on top. The fans applauding the players there, and South, of course, qualify. We respect how they go in the Victorian series. They qualify for the Australian playoffs yet again.
Tell us about how you felt today. You're feeling about the game and the comeback in the last few weeks of the season. We were sitting third like six weeks ago. Um, pretty good. I was telling Stevie on the way to the game that um, you know, each week we're going into a little bit of nerves. But um, he asked me a question. I'm <laughs> um, going into a bit of nerves, but also a bit confident knowing how the way we're playing and a bit of form that we're in. And just looking forward to each game and taking it as it comes. I feel like a goal scorer today, I reckon. <laughs> oh. Before you go on, before you go on, was that, was that intentional? Yes, he meant that to me? Yeah. No, he didn't. No but he deserved way. one at least. Yeah. No way. Brad, did you mean it? It's a good cross. Definitely not. Milos was waiting at the back post. But yeah, nah. Just lucky. It was very lucky. Yeah, well, you know, four weeks ago, we were probably down and out. Um, you know, but we always have confidence in ourselves and credit to the boys. We fought hard and, you know, we always knew that there's always a hope and when there's a hope, we'll be there. So, you know, we pulled through in the end. And eager. Stevie Hatz, you just sat out the first half of the year, so you come in for the good stuff, yeah? You've uh, won a Doherty Cup and you've played in uh, now a minor premiership team. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a tough season for the boys. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, tough season. A lot of boys coming and going, international duty, off on trials at, you know, A-League clubs or overseas. Um, <laughs> but the boys have pulled through and everyone's performed and I suppose it's over the course of the whole season. So we've been consistent all the way through and finished on top. So champions. <laughs> During the season, there's been a lot of ups and downs, but I think, you know, this is the reason why it's the reason why we play football, to, to win trophies and, you know, I think so far we've been pretty successful this year. We, we could have could have also, you know, still been in the FFA Cup if we, a bit of luck went our way, but um, I think for us it's important now to kind of regroup, rest up and hopefully, you know, uh, all the boys pull up okay from today, especially Millsy. I hope, um, you know, hope Millsy hasn't done any serious damage because uh, he's a massive play for us. And, I think, um, you know, if we stick together and, and work hard together, we, we could definitely go all the way and, and win everything. This, this season threw pretty much everything at us. We had players go on trial, injuries, suspensions, um, and it's been a pleasure so far this year. <laughs> nah, look, we've got an amazing group and just keep, just keep fighting and, and uh, an amazing team manager and results went our way and we ended up on top so another few weeks to go we've got a great group and it's not just the 11 and we all had to step up a bit today and it's a bit of a nervous start but but we got those goals and Millsy does what he does and he's a freak and he get those goals so hopefully he recovers well and uh finals time so look it's and it's fantastic there's a possibility that we can continue on right through to october so you know, I, I, I'm, I'm all for it, and I'm, I'm happy that the boys are, are succeeding at the moment. You know, a month and a half ago, we were sort of just happy to be in the five or six, you know, finals sort of thing. And now there's more to aim for, and, and we want to be successful, and we want to keep going. You know, I, I suppose everyone's a little bit flat with the, uh, you know, what happened to Millsy at the end, and, and we, we're on tender hooks a little bit, wait and see how he's gone because he's a crucial part of what we do. But uh, by the same token, it's you know. Great, great result to win the minor premiership and finish top of the league. The league table never lies. That's what people need to remember. And it's all about, you know, finishing top at the end of the season. It's a marathon, not a sprint. The two, the two people I work very closely with, and this is a serious question now, is Nick Makusis and Andrew Mazzaruni. Um, both <laughs> but <laughs> no, no, in all seriousness, uh, the football department, we've, we've changed the way we've structured everything this year and they're very, very supportive of everything we do this year. You know, it's a, a collective effort when we make, make decisions. The board's great, you know, and they support us fully, but it's all about the club, the fans, the supporters, and the history of the club. That's what we're trying to enhance. What I've said about this team, well, yeah, we've got amazing character, not just, you know, one or two. It's, it's every single one of the boys here really buy into what we do and, and what the club's about. Um, and I think, for me, the big point was uh, Milos's last-minute goal against Green Gully. I said to him uh, after the game that, you know, they'll probably end up winning us the league. And uh, sure, we had it. Uh, we turned up again today, and we have done the last few weeks and we, we won the league which is an awesome feeling. Look we scored the most goals uh, in the league, we've got the best defensive record in the league, um, I think our biggest loss was, was maybe two goals max so you know we didn't lose our bottle um, so you know all up over the course of the season um, you know I think we showed the strength and the character and, and we came out deserved winners, uh, best team in the league.